good day to all of you this session we are going to learn about replacement model in any company or any organization what happens is men or resources like machines and so on equipments they will become less efficient as the time passes this may be either due to wear and tear or suddenly one fine day it may not work so in such cases there should be a policy how frequently all these things should be replaced whether to get replaced in batches or individually this has a scientific method to analyze this we are going to learn in this replacement model as discussed any system efficiency of an item depends and it deteriorates with the time as the time passes it is going to get less efficient so always this old item should be replaced by some new items and the cost of the maintenance what happens sometimes cost of the maintenance will become more than the price of the original item and in such cases replacement policy is very very important why replacement policy what is the definition they are concerned with the problem of replacement because there is a need to get replaced and machines individuals this capital assets etc these things because as time passes if i am going to start a company today my capital may be 50000 but as time passes after 5 years this 50000 is not going to be sufficient so i need to replace this capital in a larger amount like this there should be a specific policy for any replacement model what are the types of replacement models that is some machines or some tools what will happen is as time passes the efficiency will get reduced so due to wear and tear that is one separate model the second model is one fine day suddenly take computers or electric bulbs or any other electronic items without any prior notice one fine day it will not work so how to replace such things how to deal with replacement in such aspects and the third one is human beings in any organization sometimes attrition will be there and how frequently human beings are should be replaced these things there is a scientific approach what are the types of maintenance cost if i am going to maintain some products without replacing them there is an approach of assessing the cost two types one is breakdown maintenance preventive maintenance i can maintain it for breakdown or at times i can take care so that i can give some prevention so that it is not going to get worn out so for this i have to incur some cost there are few notations in this replacement model let us understand one by one c is the capital cost of a certain item if i am going to purchase a laptop or a machinery for my organization the capital cost involved for that s of t is the scrap value that is in today's date if i am going to sell what is the value f of t is the operating cost for that particular product at the time interval t n is the optimal replacement period at what time if i am going to replace i will get an optimum amount this is the formula it is 1 by n and c minus s of t plus integration of 0 to n f of t plus gt now given a problem we are going to understand with a model called constant resale value if a product is going to have a constant resale value how to deal with replacement model so given a problem there are 8 years and the maintenance cost for each year for a particular product is going to vary but the scrap value remains 100 because the initial cost of the machine is 7100 and at any point of time the scrap value is going to be 100 now at what year if i am going to replace that machine my optimum solution will be obtained running cost is being given cumulative running cost i am going to add everything and put as a cumulative running cost scrap value is given in the problem 100 at any point of time and the difference between the initial cost and the scrap value initial cost was 7100 so difference is always 7000 the average investment cost per year is given calculated the average running cost per year is also calculated and ultimately the average annual cost is being obtained by adding these two values now if when at this point of time my value is getting reduced till that time it was same and there is a sudden change in it is getting increased this value this value plays a vital role and hence at the seventh year if i am going to replace then I'm, my ideal solution is that the second model the falling resale value previous model we saw the scrap value was 100 for all the eight years if there is a change in the resale value then how do i deal with given the problem 8 years maintenance cost is different 
and the resale value is getting declined every year and the initial cost of the machine is 6100 resale value drops as the time passes how to calculate at what year I should replace the machine so that I will not waste my amount like given the running cost taking the cumulative value of the running cost adding everything together taking the resale value which is given in the problem identifying the difference between the initial cost and the resale value it changes as per the resale value and the average investment cost per year is being calculated this is divided by number of years the average running cost per year is calculated and the average total cost is the addition of both these columns now I can see it is being decreased at one particular point it is like an iteration it keeps changing and the cost is getting increased therefore this value is the red marked value and hence in the sixth year if I am going to replace I will not waste my money too much this is the scientific method of obtaining a solution for such a problem another model like present worth factor what is the net worth net present value of the machine at this point of time here how to replace given a problem there is a restaurant they are conducting they are trying to purchase some new cooling system and hence they are conducting some research what they are given is cooling system A the present investment is 12,000 for B it is 14,000 and for C it is 17,000 total annual cost for all these three things are given and the lifetime is given all the three things are having 10 years the company is declaring that it will have a 10 years lifetime the salvage value is also given now how to calculate at 12 percent normal rate of return what is the best time to replace the machines given the problem I am calculating the total annual cost the salvage value all these things I am calculating and the total cost is calculated with the formula present investment plus annual cost minus the salvage value out of 3 I see that this is the minimum so if I take this cooling B then it is going to help me to take an optimum decision sometimes we saw items will suddenly fall so in such cases like computer monitors electric bulbs television picture tubes in such cases what happens is sudden failure so there I should take a decision whether I have to take a individual replacement policy or a group replacement policy depending upon the situation which arises